Hello, Natalia. Good morning. Welcome to India. Welcome to the Zoom class. Hello. Do you listen to me? Yeah, I can. I can. What about you? Can you hear my voice? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm at home. I'm working from my home. So you mean that uh, are you teaching your students virtually? Yeah. I'm going to school twice a week. Mm -hmm. In a month, I think, in a month, I will be working like full time all the, all, all the week with my students. But now okay. we are working like some days from, ha from the house, some days from the school. So we are like in a, in a different way. So it seems that the Colombia has not yet recovered from the COVID-19 yet. So no, we, but we are, we are improving. And the vaccines are arriving. Uh, when it comes to my country, we are back to school. Uh, we have already been to school uh, right from the November. Uh, so, so far, uh, so good in my country, in my region. So no positive cases are being reported. Uh, my students are able to be fortunate enough uh, to go to school without wearing a mask. So we are so okay, lucky. So, but your students are from from the houses, right? November, yes, November. Now, right now, they are uh, joining the session from their home. But these students are all attending the school face-to-face, uh, -face, regularly. OK, that's good. Yeah, Natalia, uh, it's really, really a pleasure for us. And it's a, a, we are really blessed today to have you in our class. Uh, before I ask my students to introduce them this, would you like to introduce yourself? Say something about yourself and about your teaching and your school and your region. Something about yourself, please. Mm, okay. Um, I'm going. Can you take screenshots? Yeah, no, no. I'm not taking screenshots. No, but but if you want, and you can share with me those photos, please. Yeah, actually, I'm recording. I'm recording this session so that I can take the snapshots and I'll send you. No problem. Okay, and I need to share my screen too because I have a presentation for you. Let me share my screen. Yes. Are you watching my screen? Yes. Yes, we can. The complete presentation. Yes, we can see. Okay. Uh, welcome, my dear students. You're not my students, but I'm going to suppose you are today. <laughs> um, I'm Natalia Montoya, and I know you know me from uh, previous sessions. I'm from Colombia. And I don't know if you have like a personal question for me. If you want to ask me uh, something about my country or something about me. Maybe you. No? Yes, no, they don't want to ask any question right now. You please introduce yourself. And you, you do you want to present something about your country? Okay, so I'm from Colombia. Uh, and Colombia is located in South America in South America. I'm going to find right now quickly uh, a map to show you where we are. Okay. Very quick. I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you where we are. This is South America. This is South America, and this is Colombia. It's in the, in the north of the, 
a continent. And for example, here we have Venezuela, we have Brazil, uh, Peru and Ecuador. So these are our borders. And this is the ocean. And up we have Central America, Central America or N, then United States, North America. So we are very close to North America. This is my, the place where I live. Colombia is very rich in um, animals, plants. Um, it's very rich in culture. We have like many cultures, many indigenous tribes, many, um, I don't know, different races, uh, different color, skin, it's very rich. But most of the people is, are like me with this color, with this color, with fair skin. But we have like many, we, we are, our borders are coasts. Most of, most of our um, border is the ocean, the Pacific and the, in the, in the Caribbean Ocean. For that reason, um, people from the coast are, have like the skin, like, like tanned skin. But most of the people are with this kind of skin. And we have, we have fortunately part of the Amazon uh, part with Brazil. We share the Amazon with Brazil. So we have a lot of trees, a lot of forest, a lot of mountains. We have a lot of mountains. So Natalia, thank you so much for sharing the very valuable information about your country. And before I let my students ask you some questions here, I have a question for you. Yes. I have seen one, one post on Facebook that you have two pet dogs and with the caps on their top here. So could you please tell us something about your pet dog? I'm going to show, to show you my pets. Vaya, Maria, vaya, Maria. Suelta los perros. I have two dogs. I don't have sons. I'm married and married. Two, two, four years ago, uh, but I don't have children. I have two dogs. And that photo represents the birthday. Look. Yes. Up, 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 up. Look. I, this is my dog. <laughs> this is one. <laughs> and the other one. Atenea. Come on. Aquí, aquí. Venga, venga, venga. And this is the other one. <laughs> and they are very um they are very intense and they have a lot of energy. And that photo with the with the cats is because I it, that was my birthday, and the black one, the black dog, was have, it was turning one year at the same time. Yeah. They so they are one year old. Yes. So I think it's lovely to have a pet dog. I think uh, you are really lucky enough to have a very lovely dog to get. So here are the few questions for you from my students. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought, uh, uh, here is a, here is a first tip. Hello, hello ma'am. Hello. Good morning ma'am. Uh -huh. Are you, again please. Good morning ma'am. Hello, morning. My name is Neeraja. I'm studying ninth class. My hobbies are playing games and watching TV. Can you repeat, so please? Your ambition? My ambition. My, ambition. My future ambition is to become a nurse. Your future ambition is to become a nurse. Right? Yes. No. Nun or nurse. That's, nurse. That's, 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 that's great. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, do you have any questions? Excellent. Nerza, do you have any questions? For what are the tourist attractions of your country? What are, what? 
tourist attraction? We have a lot. We have the beaches, we have the, the mountains, we have extreme sports, we have a lot of trekking or, or trips to the mountains. Um, we have um, like cold places, very hot places. So we have many things to do. I can tell you only one. We have millions of things to do in Colombia. Next, uh, let us go for uh, Lohit Girija. Lohit Girija, introduce yourself quickly and try to share your hobbies and your life ambition and anything that you can share with man. And if you want to ask any question, you can ask. Lohit, start. Hi, ma'am. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm okay, and you? I am fine, ma'am. Excellent. My name is Lohita Girija. I'm uh -huh. studying Chinese. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, watching TV, and dancing. What are your hobbies, ma'am? Dancing. Do you like dancing? I love dancing too. My 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 life is my uh, dancing, reading books, novels, and doing a sport. I do a lot of a sport. My future ambition is to be an English teacher. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Can I ask no. one question, ma'am? Yes. How many languages do you speak? Three. English, French, and Spanish. Spanish is my mother tongue. We speak Spanish in Colombia. So what about Grija? How many languages do you speak? Two languages. Two. What are, what are they? Telugu and English. Excellent. <laughs> Telugu or Patakan? Elsa? Elsa. Okay. Next, uh, Kaushik, it's your turn. Kaushik. Uh, hello. Yes. Hello, ma'am. My name is Kaushik Sagar. Uh, My hobby yeah. are reading books, playing games, watching TV. My life and my non police officer. Okay. <laughs> Give me one moment. I'm going to organize it. So it seems that our guest, uh, uh, Natalia, uh, is uh, having a pet dog right now, and he wants to keep them away from the uh, the microphone so that uh, she can uh, escape from the noise of the barking dog. Uh, so all students are requested to ask some questions regarding English because our guest speaker Natalia is also an English teacher and uh, she is uh, working in back. Welcome back. Uh, Kaushik, please go ahead and yeah. ask the Kaushik. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, coach it. Ask your question. Sir. Do you have any question? What? What village you are living now? Yeah, Natalia actually is asking about your location. My location, I am in the center of Colombia in a department called Antioquia and my city is Medellin. Medellin is very famous, uh, a, very good, a very famous city, but not for good things, for bad things. But I'm not going to mention them, oh, I, but, I'm, but I am yeah. in Medellin. So you can search on internet Medellin and I live there. It's the uh, second most, the, the, the second, yeah, most important city in Colombia. So, Kaushik, Kaushik uh, where do you live? Where do I you live? live? I live in, 
Guntur. Guntur district. I live in a village called Sanagala, which is located in Guntur district. And which is part of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is part of India. So something like that, how to say. So, Kaushik, say it again. I am, I am living in a village called yes, Sanagala. Sanagala is part of... I am, live, I am living in... In a village called... Guntur is a part of... My village is... My village is called Sanagala. Sanagala is the part of Guntur district. Guntur is the part of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is the part of the India. Yeah. Okay. So great. How should how should is Andhra Pradesh located in northern southern part or northern part? South, southern part. Southern part. Yes. Good. Um. Let us see some other parts. Thanks. Um. Yes. Let me check. Bhagyasri, it's your turn. Hi, ma'am. Hello. My name is Bhagyasri. I'm studying seventh grade. My hobbies are reading books, playing games. My future ambition is become a doctor. Can I ask a question, ma'am? Yes, of course. How do you teach English for your students? How do I teach? I try to combine many methodologies because here in Colombia, um, English, it's not a second language. It's a foreign language. So many people don't speak, Spanish, don't speak English. So we mostly speak Spanish. English is uh, in the curriculum of the school. So it's obligatory, mandatory to teach English, but uh, Colombia doesn't have a really good English level, being honest. So I teach them in many, with many methodologies, but I, I prefer the communicative uh, methodology or the communicative approach. So Natalia, you are saying that uh, your students are not good at English, uh, that means they speak Spanish. Uh, so being an English teacher, uh, is it not hard for you to to actually to uh, to motivate your students to speak English? Because uh, in this part of India, English is the third language. So third language is uh, English for my students as well as inside on India and even on the Pradesh also. So it's really hard for me even to influence or maybe to motivate my students to speak English. But you are saying that uh, for your students, English is uh, just a foreign language. How hard it is for you to influence or to motivate your students to speak English? And uh, so you are saying that you are using you are going you are you, you are using uh, maybe a multiple uh, methods in order to teach the English language for your students. Is it not hard for you to uh, maybe to have a good impact on your students and to speak English? Yeah, it's hard. It's very hard. And I, I'm, the motivation for them is because if you speak English here, you have many possibilities. Uh, really good jobs and you can travel around. It's very easy to get scholarships. Um, and it's, we are very close to, North, to USA. So they want to travel. I think that that's the main motivation. And, and they find the, the better jobs are for people who speak mm -hmm. English. That's the motivation. Great. So, Kali Krishna, it's your turn. Yes, sir. Hi, ma'am. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm okay. My name is Kali Krishna. I'm studying at the Officer Radio, playing games. My question is, what is your teach class, ma'am? So, Natalia, his voice actually is great because, uh, see, all my students are living in a very remote part of India. Uh, most of these villages don't have uh, proper network connectivity. Uh, so, they are trying... Maybe the, he can write the... Maybe he can write the question on the chat. Yeah, I would like to ask 
that question you know, on behalf of uh, my students. And he's asking about your teaching philosophy. What is your teaching philosophy? Yeah. What is my teacher philosophy? Uh, I think that it's teaching with love and passion. That's oh, the thing. Next, uh, yes, uh, Faslima. Faslima is your turn. Hi, ma'am. Hi. My name is Taslima. I am studying seventh grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. Can I ask a question, ma'am? Of course. Taslima, share. Taslima, share your future ambition. Future ambition. What your future but ambition? My future ambition is to become an English teacher. Excellent. Can I ask okay. a question, ma'am? Uh, ask. Yes. How many countries did you visit, ma'am? How many countries have I visited? I'm from Colombia and I have been to United States once. I, I, I went two years ago and I studied at Tennessee University in Nashville for a month. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You're welcome. Natalia, I have, I have to ask you one question that uh, you have just told me that you have been to USA and to study for first year. Is it a part of uh, Full bright uh, program or is it any other uh, uh, program? No, with that, with Fulbright, no. Oh. Um, here in the town that I'm living, the town uh, has many resources, and the Secretary of Education uh, released a program for English teachers. So, with this project, with the Skype project. I won the scholarship for one month and everything was paid. The visa, the, the, the food, the course at the university, everything was paid, paid by the Secretary of Education for a month, one month in the United States. That's really a great opportunity, Natalia. I think uh, you yes. are really worthy enough, are worthy enough and you are, uh, you are really uh, eligible for that. And by the way, I would like to share you one thing that in the coming September, I am also going to visit the United States of America as a part of Fulbright uh, uh, program. Excellent. So That's I a good program, Fulbright. Next uh, participant, Pujita, it's your turn. Pujita. Pujita, are you there? Okay. Are you? Just, uh, we have. Uh, no. <laughs> Anybody can ask it. Who is that? Who is that? Whoever is available right now. Yes, sir. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Hi. My name is Susmita. I'm studying ninth grade. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching TV. Mm -hmm. How can we improve our commu communicative skills? I think that we can improve the communicative skills practicing. That's the only thing you have to you can do. Watching movies with with or without subtitles, listen to music, and if it's if you don't have anybody to practice, you have to practice in front of the mirror. That's the thing you have to do to improve your communicative skill. Thank you, ma'am. So, You're welcome. Next to Radhasri, it's your turn. Hello. Radhasri. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Hello. 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 My name is Radhasri. I'm studying in ninth grade. Can I ask one question, ma'am? Of course. What is your hobbies, ma'am? My hobbies? Mm -hmm. Apart from working, that's not a hobby, mm -hmm. but I have to do it. I work I a it, lot yeah. because I have two jobs. I work at school like your teacher. And I work at university. I'm a, a university teacher in foreign languages. Um, I really like doing a sport. Um, reading books, 
And uh, watching Netflix, Disney, okay. or any kind of series, I love that thing. Hello, ma'am. Hi. My name is Vashita. I'm studying ninth grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. Can I ask a question, ma'am? Of course. Why do you want to be a teacher? Why, do Why you... did I want to be a? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. I am. I got it. It's okay. Mm. Because two things. Because of two things. I really like people. I love to share with people, and I really like languages. So that's a combination. That's like a social, like a social work to be with people to help them, but speaking English. At the same time, that's a really good combination for me. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your future ambition? What do you want to be? What's to up? become an engineer. To become an engineer. To what? become a what? Become an engineer. She is saying that engineer. Now, what's your turn? Sir. Sir. Hi, ma'am. Hello. My name is Nagalakshmi. I am studying seventh grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. My future ambition is to become a math teacher. Can I ask a one math question, ma'am? Teacher. Yes, of yes, course. My question: Subject some ways to improve my pronunciation skills. The pronunciation. Um. Hmm. Repeating. Repeat and repeat and to find a page where you can check pronunciation. For example, word reference, the dictionary. Do you know the dictionary, word, word reference? That's a really good dictionary where you can check the pronunciation. So you can look, uh, type a word, uh, look at the meaning of the word and you can play it. There is a button, you can listen to the word. The, the correct pronunciation and the good thing about word reference is that you have many accents. So you have the American accent, the British accent, the Jam Jamaican accent. So I think that repeating, repeating, it's a good thing for pronunciation. Uh, and listening or, or, or practicing with real English, movies, list, uh, uh, music, real English. Meanwhile, meanwhile, are there any participants who want to ask the questions? Anybody can ask. Sarasat Beg, Sarasat Beg, and are you available? Yes, sir. Anybody? Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Hi, ma my name is Virashat Beg. I am studying some class. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. Okay. I'll ask you one question, ma'am. Yes. What is your hobbies, ma'am? Hobbies, reading oh, no. books, doing a sport, and watching TV, uh, series or movies. Nice Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. What are your hobbies and what are your future ambitions? And why don't you yeah. turn your camera on? Why don't you keep your camera on so that we can see? What, sir? So why don't you put your camera on so that we can see you? Turn your camera on. That something has happened. Uh, yes. Yes. Next slide, Neha. Please. Yes, sir. Hi, ma'am. Hello. How are you, ma'am? Good, and you? My name is Sai Neha. I am studying seventh grade. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, and watching. My future ambition is to become a doctor. Excellent. 
Can I ask a question, ma'am? Yes. What topic should you learn to be fluent in English, ma'am? Can you repeat? Oh yes, Sais Neha. I would like to ask that question on your on your behalf. In fact, uh, Natalia, her question is: What English topic? What topics do you teach at your school? What topics? What topics? I do. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the teacher of nine, tenth, and eleventh grades. So, the the last grades at school. And I teach them like um, like many things, <laughs> but um, I try to prepare my students to get a B two B two level internationally and to pass the national exams when they graduate because they have to present a national exam. So I, I have to teach them many things. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Oh, anyone else? Anyone else who can ask a question? And here we have eight minutes time is left. So in these eight minutes, anybody can ask. Monica, welcome to the Zoom class. Would you like to ask any question? Okay, meantime, Natalia, uh, could you please uh, um tell us something about uh, uh, how to improve their writing skills uh, in my school curriculum um, we don't have uh, much stress on uh, writing skills uh, rather than uh, uh, giving much importance for uh, oral skills as well as uh, other skills but they don't give any priority for the uh, writing skills so do you have anything uh, any piece of advice to my students with regards to the writing skills? How can they improve their writing skills? And how can they develop their descriptive skills? Could you please say uh, Harry, can, can you write can you write the question? It's not possible to understand you. <laughs> okay. Who can tell me what the what the teacher said? Because I didn't I didn't get the the uh, the, the question. Can you repeat, Natalia, 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 I would like to repeat again. So, here, would you suggest some ways to you... So, would you like to suggest some ways to improve their writing skills? So, in their writing four... skills. Have a listening, reading, writing, speaking. Among the four skills, uh, our school curriculum supports only listening, reading. These are the only two skills. But we don't have much preference for the school speaking and uh, as well as writing. We don't have much preference or importance for these two skills. So, would you like to suggest based shortcuts or maybe methods or your piece of advice? regarding the writing to practice the writing skill absolutely yeah um, um we we have to work based on the four skills obviously in english we have to work the four skills but for writing i really like when i ask my students to write about the things that they like for example, to write a letter to a friend talking about uh, hobbies, or to write a, a report about a book they are reading, something that is like uh, familiar for them. That's my advice. Even I, I, I have the idea, but I haven't, I haven't uh, done anything no yet. To have pen friends. Do you know what is that? What that is? to have pen pole friends yeah. and to, to practice yeah. the, the, the writing skill because my, my students need that. I don't know if we can do it. We, my school yeah, and your students, my students. Definitely, and we have been exchanging the letters to more than 20 countries, and including America and Japan, there are many countries that there. I am ready 
என்ன பண்ணல அந்தே Uh, here we have uh, four minutes time left natalia could you please uh, say final words for my here we have only four minutes left could you please say something about uh, uh, the importance of english language and what are the career opportunities for the students if they master the english language your final words please yeah i i would like to tell you that english and not only english languages are very important in life um english in this case open your door open the doors of many possibilities uh you have more opportunities in la in this world because this world is very hard and competitive and it's difficult to live because that's the thing it's difficult to live with our good job so english opens a uh, you many possibilities many doors so practice it try to un understand most of the things try try to speak english most of the time because it's a good opportunity to grow in this world uh, it's my advice you can so not only for jobs not only for jobs but also for i don't know knowing cultures meeting people made it like knowing new things yeah so thank you so much natalia uh, for uh, uh, traveling all the way from colombia to india uh, for meeting my students we are so thankful to you we are so grateful to you uh, we really be thankful to you for the valuable time uh, so thank you so yeah. much thanks for thanks you and your students uh, in two weeks we are going to the schools all the school so i think that we can have more session uh, in like me you can be my my students teacher okay we we'll look forward that also yeah so students say bye to our the guest teacher natalia all of you say bye bye ma'am bye ma'am bye ma'am bye, bye. bye. Bye ma'am. Bye ma'am. Bye see you.